We have a devastating new climate change report out from the NOAA, Huffington Post reports here. For the 12th month in a row, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has announced record high global temperatures, marking a year-long heat streak that scientists say is a grim sign of climate change in action. April 2016 was the hottest April ever recorded by the NOAA since it started tracking global temperatures in 1880. The agency announced uh, Wednesday, this is the 12th consecutive month the agency has identified a monthly global temperature record. That's the longest such streak the NOAA has ever recorded. And uh, just to scare the pants off you a little more here, one scientist said, I'm just in shock. I wish it weren't so. Okay. Now, understand, because when you bring this up, you, like, conservatives ha can have a variety of different responses. And by the way, it's not all conservatives, just the climate science denying ones. Uh, some of them say, I don't believe it. Because, you know, the scientists, they're in on that conspiracy to get all that big money. Not the oil companies that have the perverse incentive. They're the scientists and their money-grubbing ways. Uh, and other ones say... Uh, I don't care. Or maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> We've heard that one before, right? Like, oh, it's warmer. You ever been to Florida? It's kind of nice there. Why not make everywhere like Florida? Pfft, stupid libs. Okay, but yet again, what you're not understanding is the consequences of stuff like this. So, uh, sea level rise is one thing that people often point to, and that's bad. <laughs> you're gonna lose some cities, very important ones, but uh, I actually think that's one of the least bad consequences of climate change because also there's increased drought there's famine there's wars over water because there's water shortages i mean it's all fun and games until you go to the store and you realize that food goods have shot up by you know four times in price because hey we, we're having a drought we're having a famine you know we can't get all the stuff that we need there's like i said wars over water shortages the midwest in the united states you know, that's another thing. A lot of them get their their water from snow caps on mountaintops. What happens when there's no more snow caps on mountaintops? Well, then you go underwater to get it. You go underground to get it with underground reservoirs. Except those are poisoned because uh, the fracking is exempted from the Clean Water and Clean Air Act, and they've been pumping the, chem uh, the chemically contaminated uh, water under there for a while. So what are you going to do? See, this is the things that uh, should be concerning everybody. And not to mention, and they bring this up in the article too, massively increased and more powerful natural disasters. So they say El Nino season is going to be way worse now. Never mind all the other things. So this has dire consequences. And, you know, people make the argument, well, it's, we can't really get off the fossil fuels because it will hurt the economy so much. It's actually quite the opposite. The next economic boom that's waiting to happen is in green technology, is in renewable technology. For all the jobs that you're going to lose in the fossil fuel industry, you're going to gain them back and then some in green technology. It's a blossoming field and it eventually has to take over. So to drag our feet any longer is just irresponsible. I mean, we're already at the point where the future generations are going to look back and go, what the fuck were you monkeys thinking? Uh, so we need to try to make a change, man. Now, again, Obama and the Democrats, they've done some things. But we got to get really, really serious about this. And uh, honestly, Bernie Sanders put it best when he said, we have to look at climate change and analyze climate change as if it's the same kind of a threat that World War II was. How it was that urgent threat and it was all hands on deck and people immediately, all right, let's go, let's build the tanks, let's do this, let's do that. We got to fight these bad guys. P we should be viewing climate change like that. Oh my God, look at what's going to happen if we don't immediately address it. Okay, let's get on it. Let's do this. Let's do that. More renewable technology, you know, electric cars, this and that. It's time. We're at that point now. And if you don't see it, you're just ignorant to the science.